Hi, my name is Diana Huerta and I work in the Farm Neighbor Department where we receive the payments. Here next to me is Sonia Guerrero, she's my helper. Sonia is the person that receives the vouchers before they are turned over to me to be able to invoice them. To begin with, we ask that vouchers are turned in weekly, on a weekly basis, so that way you do not fall behind, uh, which can cause drivers not to get cleared or companies not to get cleared. They may turn in the vouchers for the current week, but you might have vouchers pending for two to three weeks behind. Now, for the vouchers, we ask at least a minimum to have the van number, uh, the week worked, the driver name, and the company name, address, and the authorized signature for the company, and also include the riders how many riders. The rest of the numbers that belong on the voucher side of it, we actually do the breakdown here in the office. So once Sonia receives it, she goes ahead and she breaks it down in the amount into how many passengers were in the van that day. And by the way, the amount that we get comes directly off of the van from a GPS report. So that's the miles that we go by. Uh, some of the drivers do put the miles here on top, which sometimes are not correct. So we strictly go off the GPS report to get the correct miles. After Sonia is done with this voucher, the breakdown, she receives payment and then turns them over to me where I come in and I go over the vouchers to make sure all information is on there. Make sure there's a signature in the voucher make sure company name is on the voucher and the correct amount is on the voucher. Then I create an invoice um, on the company side. You will receive invoices for each van that were turned in for that week every Thursday on billing days. If billing days are on Thursdays. You will notice that you will receive invoices that came in that week and also a statement make sure that your bill your vouchers come in on a weekly basis to avoid causing um payment to come in after a statement has been printed there's cases where once i print a statement we receive your check in the mail and it won't show on your statement so if you could please cross-reference what you've paid your checks that you've sent in with the statement and make sure you don't double pay your invoices. Um, if you have any questions, you can call the office to find out if we received your payment already or if we've received it, your, your vouchers also. If you feel that you have anything missing for that week, go ahead and call either myself or Sonia and we can give you a list of vouchers that are missing that are outstanding two, three, four weeks. And um, you can get them in as soon as possible.